times have changed. Let me rewind to the days not so long ago as you may think that our people were enslaved. And I can bet that you just visualize a black and white image with a ship full of Africans in chains, but it's not always that is the case. I could have been speaking of today, then we'll come back to that. For now, let's go to that place with a long lived nightmare was a reality we like to ignore. Where the black man was an asset to the white and nothing higher or more With a past and a back full of gore, 300 years of a holocaust And this is a time for you to cry and mourn This is a time we bring the people to life like the sky when it's dawn Because it wasn't exactly sympathy that the Mau Mau were fighting for They fought so they can reclaim the humanity that was taken from them how can you call men violent animals after instilling your hatred in them? Put them in cages explaining that they are lower forms of the homo sapien. So justified your oppressive relations to them with the thought that the whiter the skin, the higher the status of men. So now we hate to be reminded of our blackness every time we take a look at our faces again. Being lighter is nicer. It's a thing we seem to accept. But again, I seem to be skipping ahead. And times have changed. We can go further back to the times of Garvey or a little less to the rise of the Black Panther Party but let's flip the page and go back to when Malcolm and Martin tried to make us see that your dark skin was a beautiful gene before racism was paintbrushed under the carpet. So it was after a long period that the youth were asleep that Martin had a vision and of course it was a beautiful dream but Malcolm reminded us that if you have to then you must shoot to be free. And they call that crude and extreme. But let me enter the mind state of an ex-slave after the trade was abolished. A sign that says no niggers or dogs are a thing very usual to see. I would love to sit here and listen to you explain what the constitution reads, but words are just words. I demand that you prove them to me, because the wife had my language, culture, history, name and religion removed from me. Love is the best thing that you looted from me. That was my grandfather that saw his wife and children executed at sea, imagine that. So calling the rage of the oppressed irrational just sounds a little too deluded to me. For how can they expect colorful fruits and leaves once they've already damaged the roots of the tree? So Malcolm wanted you to perceive that your mind is your greatest weapon and you have the pistol aimed at the chains of your cuffs. So you must shoot to be free. But have times changed? And listen attentively to what I am about to say. What you see on the surface may have a new face, but deep down underneath the sugar coating, the bitter taste of reality is still the same. We give our freedom fires, black and brown figures that inspired an uprising, and lost the status in our time. But in our time, nobody wants to actually discuss race. And when we do, and we challenge those racial perceptions hidden away, they say that we segregate, and our claims cause distasteful discrepancies. If we were to say that history and the foundations of capitalism have left such a legacy that every single one of us still suffers from white supremacy. And that's an uncomfortable term, isn't it? It all gets a bit uncomfortable when we start to discuss white privilege. And don't get it twisted, my comparatively lighter skin tone means I also acknowledge my privilege. Like I'm somehow less animalistic than those darker than me. And partly it comes with the idea that the whiter the skin, the more morally supreme. See, I just want you to open your subconscious and question what you really believe. How else can we really be free? And why am I more likely to go inside? Is it that the jury would be more inclined to look for my good intent and innocence if I was white? And I have to be taught through punishment because I'm not so civilized. See, I can empathize with being more able to relate to your own. You can argue, it's only natural, I know. It's just certain views many members of the population hold. You think the emigrated should go? Ignorance has clearly taken a hold when you forget the oppressive ways this nation had grown. Who were the enslaved and taken from home? And whose government has always sent troops to take control of a foreign land? You knew borders set his own rules whilst taking the gold. You call that the victim card. I call speaking the truth the ruins where the resistance sparks. Because we fought wars in our minds before they lit up the dark. Before our ideas exploded and the shrapnel split us in half. Man down, man down, I took a hit to the heart. They were shooting at me, I tried to shoot to be free. Man down, man down, I need a lift to a law. Because times ain't changed. Hear it from an African Asian Muslim, trust me, I can relate. I could have been just another kid from the estate, slave to the system, instilled with hate, and we tried our hardest not to be filled with pain, though. Certain teachers couldn't see past race. Then most police couldn't see past the criminal they subconsciously see in our face. And that cycle of discrimination could have been the reason half of my friends didn't see past grades. The only way out they could see was money from the C-class grade. And my talk was only talk when I tried to say that we are great. It hurts that I failed most times. 
They were good hearted, so I hope they never change inside. Cause I knew a lot had the key to the jail in our minds. But social conditioning had them destined to fail in our eyes. The history teachers should never take the blame for their crimes. And the way history told our tale isn't right. Columbus was a power hungry conqueror who tried to wipe out the native tribes. But still, it's like they celebrate his life. So, where's the change in times? The United States claim to be humanitarians of the greatest type. But they go to our lands and they take what they like. We got a black hawk down with a snake inside. And kids playing on site. Still, I owe the world to the teachers that gave me the time. And to my parents for showing me the way to the light. That I will be a slave to none but he who created I. Everybody has their own story, and that's a taste of mine. I believe we can find peace and fight for it at the same time. So, in the name of every struggle ever faced in our lives, by any means necessary, we will race to our freedom in these racist times.